Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome to Shopping with Cheryl. Today, we are on a field trip. We have come out to Bad Rat Garage to give me some assistance because we are gonna be looking at a welder, a stick welder. I was sent this and we are gonna check it out today. And so, since I'm not a professional welder, I came out to get some help. I mean, he built this and I figured y'all would wanna see it. So. Let's see what is in this box. This welder is small. I think the shipping weight on this package was only eight pounds and some. So this is fairly small and it's gonna be good, they said, for beginners. Well, that is me right there. Um, you've got the on off switch back here. As far as the plugs, got this is permanently attached, it looks. And then we've got our dials up here and where we are gonna plug in. Um, they've got an instruction booklet with it. This is fine thing. I, I don't know how to say it, but there'll be a link for it in the description below. It will be an affiliate link. If you use my link and make a purchase, I may make a commission. Now, you also have a, um, a face helmet. Thing, plastic foldable you might want to get your own but if it's something where you've got someone who thinks they're interested in welding this may be a great answer for it. here is your ground cord and then here we go with the other cord so it's got a brush so you're gonna have everything you basically need a little hammer with it so we're gonna open this up I'm gonna to learn to weld. Yes, if I can use this, then so can you. So let's get ready to see if I can use this with assistance, mind you. This is Paul. He's been welding since he was 10 years old and he is my instructor for the day. So he is giving this a test run. Now here I am. This is the very first time in my life I have used a stick welder. So yes, my welds are not perfect, but I was so surprised at how easy this is to use. The settings, I, I'm still learning. I'm learning the rhythm of it all, but it was just a lot simpler than I thought. So like Paul said, and like I agree, if you are a beginner into welding, or you are a handyman and you need a welder to uh, take somewhere that's easy, it's lightweight, all you need is a power source, then this is a great welder. I really look forward to improving on my skills with my new welder. I suggest that if it's something you, your kids, your grandkids want to get into, this is a great for starting. And yeah, Paul said it's good enough. You could use it for a lot of jobs. So don't let the small size fool you. Be sure you go check it out. I'm super excited and I hope you are too. All right, guys, so there you go. Like I said, I am not a professional welder. I got Paul to come in and help show me how to use this. Um, Paul has welded all kinds of things, you, the rat rod, among other things. So it even got his approval. So for me, beginning, I understood what he was talking about with the settings, and no, I, am, I didn't do excellent with it. But as you can see, I got a lot of practice in, some of it better than others. And you know my saying, if I can do it, you can do it. And like Paul said, if you've got um, a rod iron fence you want to fix, something's broke, perfect. You want to take this as a handyman uh, somewhere to fix things, this is great. It only weighs, I believe, like I said, about eight pounds. So it's not big and heavy and you don't have to lug a huge machine around. You're also not going to spend five, ten thousand dollars for a machine that you know you may not use very often so we gave this a go i got a lesson 
and I also got a li lesson on the MIG TIG welder. That was a whole nother ball game, which I'm gonna have to get me one of them too. But there will be affiliate links in the description below, so go check this out. Great for getting your kids, your grandkids started, if that's what you wanna do, or having it around to fix anything that you don't want to get out a big welder for. So, hope you enjoyed that. It's not every day we get to come out to Bagrat Garage and learn how to weld, but everybody's got to start somewhere. So, hopefully we will see you in the next video. You never know what I'm going to have. And hey, I'll even put a link to my gloves and the rods I use and all of that down there too. So, thanks for watching.